All right, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to quickly create tables in PowerPoint. Now, I'm working in PowerPoint 2007, so the functionality is going to be a little different. But essentially, the, the way you create tables is, is very similar. So let's go ahead and go to a blank slide. Now, if you're working in PowerPoint and you're using the template, you're going to have this layout option here, and this is going to be different um, features that you can use to insert. These are placeholders and they're going to insert them in the default layout. So as you can see, there's an insert table feature. So we're going to click on that. What's going to happen, it's going to allow us to add the columns and rows. So we're going to keep the five columns and we'll add uh, six rows down. So we hit OK. And as you can see, the table loads up here in this placeholder area. And then from that point, the ribbon on the toolbar is going to change. So you can see you've got your table tools, and that's going to be made up of a design tab and a layout tab. Now when we're in the design tab, that's going to allow us to change the way the uh, table looks and how many uh, the color schemes and things like that as you can see. And then you've got some other properties here. And then on layout, this is where you can change some of the properties of your table. You can add rows and columns and merge your cells and, and change the cell size and some of those things. We'll talk about that in a future tutorial, but for now it's just about learning how to insert the table. So you've got a table inserted using the placeholder feature in your template. Now another way to insert the table, let's go to this blank slide here. Let's say you're working on a blank slide and you want to insert a table. All you'd have to do is go up to the insert tab, click on that and you'll see the tables option. So we'll click on that. Now you have a few ways to insert tables. One way is you can kind of draw the table using this grid. So as you can see as I go across I can select six columns and you can see that a PowerPoint will show me what that's going to look like. So I'll select six columns and then if I want to go down it's going to populate that with some rows and so I can see what the table is going to look like. So I'm kind of drawing it using this grid. Uh, and I'll go ahead and hit OK and now the table's here. And then again I can edit it using the design and layout tabs. Let's go ahead and delete that. Another way that you can insert tables, we go to insert table, we'll select the table tab. If we do the insert table, that's going to be exactly the same as the placeholder. So when I click on that, you'll see now I can choose my columns and rows and we'll choose five, hit OK, and now I've got my table and then I can edit the table. And let's look at another way to insert the table. So you're on a blank slide, we click on insert and then tables, and then I can draw a table. What drawing tables allows me to do is I get this pencil and I can kind of draw a table based on the layout that I want. So let's say I want this as my layout here. So I add my table. It's only going to give me one cell, but at this point it's opening up the same tabs with the design and layout. And then I can choose uh, how I want to structure my table at that point. So I can go ahead and hit layout and you can see here I can hit insert below. I can insert some rows. I can insert some columns and then uh, I can draw my table that way. And then yet one more way to insert tables, and this is probably a way that really comes in handy if you already have data in an Excel spreadsheet, is you go to Insert, you go to Tables, Excel Spreadsheet. When I click on that, it's going to open up uh, a way for me to work with an, incel, uh, an Excel um, spreadsheet format. And as you can see, I've got that all in here. And then when I'm done, I click on the slide and then the table is going to be inserted in here and I can manipulate it. What's nice with the Excel option is that it gives me more functionality with the table in terms of what I want to do with that. So those are the number of ways you can insert tables. So you've got a lot of flexibility as you can see and a lot of freedom in terms of uh, the tools you want to use. So uh, whether you want to draw them right there on the fly or use some data that you already have in a spreadsheet, it's going to be really easy to do. If you're interested in learning more, just go ahead jump to uh, learningppt.com and you can learn more about PowerPoint.